Hello, hello, Mordimer is here. Welcome to eighth round of the Tata Steel Chess Tournament in Vegan Z 2020. And today I would like to show you the game between Yu Yang Yi and his ranking is uh, 2726 and he play as white. And he doesn't have great tournaments so far because uh, two and a half points out of seven. And his opponent as black, Jan Krzysztof Duda from Poland, 2758. And he already managed to uh, get three and a half points drawing all the games. Uh, he drew, for example, against uh, Ali Reza Firuzja. He drew against uh, Magnus Carlsen. So a uh, quite OK tournament, nothing spectacular, but uh, quite strong opponent for Yu Yang Yi. Uh, so probably Jan Krzysztof Duda would be the favorite, but he's drawing all the games. So let's see what happened in the game. We have e4 opened by Yu Yang Yi and we have c5 Sicilian defense, knight f3, knight c6 and d4. So open variation, c takes on d4, knight takes on d4 and now we have g6, so accelerated dragon knight c3 and bishop g7. Bishop e3 is played by white and knight f6. So pretty standard, uh, all this uh, was played um, thousands of times of course and bishop c4 is the most popular answer. We have queen a5 and now just castle and castle by Duda as well. Bishop b3 and now we have d6 and here the most popular would be h3 uh, it was played many many times taking a space for from the uh, minor pieces of black so um, and a counterplay on the uh, king side would, would not be possible but knight d5 so that's the less popular line yu yang yi uh, played uh, knight d5 so we have rook on e8 and knight goes on f6. So exchanging the knights on f6 and bishop takes on f6. c3 by white. We have bishop on d7. All of this is very standard. f4 now the most popular move. So we have a deviation um, before but now it's still going through the most popular lines. We have knight takes on d4, bishop takes on d4 and bishop d4 so exchanging by Duda and queen takes on d4 and we have queen on c5 by Duda. So pinning the queen, forcing to exchange and the most popular answer would be rook uh, to d1 uh, and you know supporting the queen and uh, exchanging only on terms of white. But Yu Yang Yi play queen on c5, exchanging on c5, so we have d takes on c5 and all the pawn structure is uh, very symmetrical, so it, it tends to be very uh, drawish position. King f2 and now we have e5 attacking the center, we have king on a3 and uh, Duda takes on f4 first, rook takes on f4, so um, white actually has the isolated pawn and it's the isolated king's pawn and uh, moreover uh, all the pieces, most of the pieces were exchanged so and there are not much attacking chances for white but still is a very very drawing position. We have bishop on e6, rook on d1 so taking the advantage of the uh, open d file and bishop b3 so Duda exchanged all the minor pieces and went straight to the rook endings. We have rook on e7 by Duda, so uh, preventing from uh, reaching the 7 rank, that would be the main idea for white of course. And now we have rook on d5, so attacking the c5 pawn, we have b6 and king on d3, centralizing the king. And now we have rook a to e8. 
attacking this pawn or maybe uh, putting more pressure on that pawn and now we have b4 so Yu Yang Yi decided to uh, mess up his pawn structure but got some uh, attacking chances maybe on the open files we have c on b4 c takes on b4 and king g7 uh, in this position, Yu Yang Yi play rook on d4 and rook on c7 by Duda. Rook f1 and now we have rook on e6. Rook f2, so uh, it's, it's just dancing of the rook, so uh, nothing much happening. It's a pretty um, uh, drawish position, however, uh, black are slightly better due to the isolated pawn um, on e file and of course double pawn on b file. Uh, so in this position Duda play rook from e to c6. So now he doubled the rooks but still uh, cannot penetrate the, the white position. And now we have e5. We have rook on c1 by Duda and now rook on e Two. So uh, if Duda try to, you know, attack the pawn from behind, then white just, you know, prevents from that. Rook d1, we have check and king e4. Uh, and here we have rook on f1. King d3, uh, the, the king going back to the, to control the, the open c file. And now we have h5 by Duda g3 rook f3 check and king e4 attacking the rook and now interesting this rook went to b3 so okay this rook is stuck because as if you if you see all these um, squares are controlled by you know by pawn or by rook or or by king or another pawn and also here so this rook is stuck over there the good news is that the king cannot actually approach because the rook on c file uh, guarding so uh, we have rook on f2 and the rook dancing continue and if you listen to um, the interview of um, Jan Krzysztof Duda uh, link link over there so you can click there and watch the interview after this video uh, he says that he could do this uh, you know moving these rooks uh, forever uh, but actually that didn't happen uh, that's why I upload this video so we have rook on e7 here king f4 and now king h6 so having some ideas trying to make some breakthrough which is um, not easy but uh, both sides just waiting for the uh, some mistake some inaccuracy by, by other side and now we have king e4 king e4 look like a pretty normal move nothing nothing um, fancy happening here but now i would like you to um, you know pause the video and uh, try to find the the move which makes the position of black much much better and uh, and and quite high winning chances from from that time while i enjoy my cup of tea <sighs> okay you ready uh, the proper move here first I, first I will show you the the proper move rook e2 any other move would be okay for example rook e2 rook e6 uh, rook e2 d2 and you know the game would continue so uh, that would be pretty drawish but king e4 was played and it allow f5 f5 is so great move this is um, first of all uh, black getting uh, advantage of three pawns against two pawns on the king side. Moreover, um, this pawn can't be uh, killed by, you know, en passant, so um, that's another advantage. And this pawn not gonna have any support, so uh, it's gonna be impossible to defend it. And now one more thing this rook in b3 is a ninja rook and it's control you know rank 3 so so king actually can't go anywhere 
and so king d5 has to be played uh, king is in more active place so it looks like uh, maybe a bit scary but now we have rook on d7 check king on c4 attacking this rook so now this rook is in danger but of course has um, now has the way um, to escape because king cannot be in the uh, center in and in the queen side at the same time but uh, Duda play rook takes on b4 checking king takes on b4 and rook takes on d4 with check we can we have king on b5 uh, so trying to get some counterplay here, pick up the pawns and uh, maybe um, try to, I don't know, get some chances because uh, position of white is already very bad. We have rook on d5, check, king a6, and then uh, rook on a5 with check first. It's not really necessary, but, uh, but Duda shows that he has... Uh, a time and he decide what to do on the board we have a king on b7 and rook on uh, e5 and king takes on a7 so the position would be the same uh, even without this a5 move and now we have rook b5 by black and actually this pawn is defended yeah uh, now we have h4 by Yu Yang Yi, so he tried to block the position of the uh, of the king. Uh, king cannot move now, and now we have rook on b3 attacking the g3 pawn. Uh, we have rook on c2, so Yu Yang Yi don't care about this pawn uh, because he knows that uh, then he can take uh, b6 pawn. So we have b5 first. King b6 following b4 and here you, you Yang Yi uh, go on king on b5 probably rook g2 would be slightly better but the results would be the same for example rook on f3 king b5 and now b3 uh, king c4 and uh, now black can march to the center and uh, probably win the game uh but white maybe maybe would prolong the the game uh, however he play uh king on b5 and here uh, rook takes on g3 and uh, and that's a pretty good move because now king takes on b4 and rook g4 comes with check so it's one extra tempo King goes on c5, rook takes on h4, and now we have b4. So three pawns on the king side and one pawn on the queen side. Who's gonna be first? We have rook on e4, so um, preparing the rook to move on the first or maybe eighth rank. Uh, just we will see b5 rook e8 by duda and now we have rook on b2 uh, rook on b2 because uh, yu yang yi of course want to um, support the the pawn and push and push the pawn to the eight rank uh, it was also possible to play on a uh, rook on a2 and after moving the pawns uh, try to uh, operate on the uh, from the from the flank and uh, giving extra checks but um, doesn't really matter in this situation we have g5 moving the pawns and now we have b6 now we have g4 and b7 and here rook on b8 so um, black just blocking the pawn uh, and now if white just move and try to get that uh, rook then uh, rook would be sacrificed and uh, and then these three pawns would just march without any problems because the white king would be far far away so um, that's not the way so king d4 playing by yu yang yi we have king g5 king e3 coming back h4 and now we have rook on b5 h3 by duda we have king f2 and h2 
uh, so running with this uh, passed pawn very very far uh, king g2 was played and now uh, very calmly g3 so of course white can't take this uh, pawn because uh, black would just promote the h pawn so we have king on h1 king g4 so coming there is uh, so situation of white is actually hopeless but uh, yu yang yi still playing and try to make the life harder rook on b6 we have f4 and now we have rook on g6 and now i would like you to uh, pause the uh, video one more time and try to find the winning move for um, for black while I enjoy my cup of tea. <sighs> okay, are you ready? So the most natural move, of course, is um, uh, king goes on f3. And if you choose this move, if you found this move, congratulations, uh, you just draw against Yu Yang Yi. 2726 very strong players so a draw is a good result however the problem is that that after rook on g3 check uh, black just draw and that's how happened if of course if the rook gonna be taken then it's the stalemate so uh, nothing can be done here and after king going on f2 rook b3 and f3 let's say rook b2 check king g3 rook b3 and uh, this pawn can't be moved and uh, if the king move to the fourth rank trying to maybe maybe hide somewhere here uh, then white just pick up the h2 pawn and it's game over it's just a uh, draw so this was a quite impressive uh, trap that's the last trap and um, and the first trap uh, at least i i i've spotted only this uh, trap in this game but really interesting how in so winning position uh the grandmaster can still set up some trap and get some drawing chances incredible stuff so um, do that play uh, calmly king on h4 we have rook on h6 and now king g5 and rook, rook on b6 going back now we have rook on h8 so do that calculate very precisely now if the pawn going here then of course uh, rook can be sacrificed but that's not the problem uh, because uh, black just gonna be faster with the pawns uh, so rook b1 was played now we have f3 rook b5 one more check king g4 one more check on b4 king h3 by duda and uh, in this position white just resigned so um, big success for young krzysztof duda he got his first point and at the end of the round he has the fifth place uh, together with uh, magnus carlsen they have four and a half points out of eight and the first place now have fabiano caruana and alireza firuzia uh, five and a half points so Duda and Carlsen are one point behind uh, but between them also Wesley so and Jordan Va Van Forest with five points uh, and and here if you ask like maybe white would try to you know uh, draw by uh, by stalemate uh, some tricks like rook h4 king h4 can take even king take can take because if rook takes definitely there is a checkmate but even in if this would be a blunder pawn would just promote to the queen but still g2 king on uh, h2 and of course rook can take the queen on b8 and that's uh, game over there is no tricks no um, no stalemates um, just easy win by black 
So thanks for watching and if you like this video, of course, uh, push like. If you don't like this video, push unlike and uh, feel free to subscribe if you uh, if you like, if you find this, uh, you know, interesting and you want to uh, see more of my content, just push uh, subscribe, click the bell button and uh, yeah, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.